My name is Ava Carl, and I am the Athlete Relations Coordinator here at the Adaptive Training Foundation. So here at ATF, our big flagship program is what we call Redefine. And we have a neon sign in the wall that says Defy Impossible, and that's not only a great tagline, but we truly believe in it. So during the Redefine program, we have 10 to 15 adaptive athletes, all different age, race, background, pathology, you could have an amputee right next to a spinal cord injury. And they're training three times a week, completely individualized to their specific goals, ultimately knowing that, hey, at the end of the class, you're ringing our victory bell. And the victory bell we have down at the back of the gym, it's that extrinsic reminder for everyone that you're working for something. Avondale was able to support on the training floor with this current Class 27 program. Um, and by that, you know, they're working out with the athlete, they're giving high fives, encouragement, positivity. In those moments of sweat and weakness, the current athletes kind of turn to that little circle around them and Avondale was a smiling face for every single one of them. Seeing what limitations that kind of the world has put on them and helping them break through it, it teaches us all that we all go through it. There's always a way to overcome and get past those barriers. Having Avondale say, this is what we're doing and giving us this opportunity, it's life-changing. Some of the things I learned volunteering with ATF, never give up, be courageous and continue towards your goals and nothing's too big to accomplish. Things that I enjoy about giving up time for spirit of community events that we do is just, I do believe that when you do things to help people, that stuff goes around and around and more people do want to get involved. You know, I know a lot of us have the want and the drive to do something, but we actually don't take the steps to initiate things to get it going because of schedules, we're busy, we all have personal things. It is extremely important if you can find the time, it's a wonderful thing and it actually leaves with a great feeling. I have a, one of the conditions that's shared by one of the athletes here called EDS or ehlers Stanler syndrome. So whenever I saw the video, I was thinking, wow, some of these people here have the same thing that I do. Watching them do this, start learning how I can help myself as well as helping them, but also relate to them. If you're going to be up here doing this, I'm going to do it with you. I like having the opportunity to go out and do whatever I need to to help other people. Something that I will take away from this experience is that there is no I can't in your vocabulary. I mean, there's no excuse for me to say I can't or for anyone to say that they can't do something or that something's too hard or they won't be able to do it or don't want to do it because these athletes show up every single day defying those odds, building themselves physically and especially mentally. It's a mental game, big time. Being surrounded by people who are pushing that boundary every single day and exceeding it and ringing the bell is something that you can't leave here and not feel moved and feel motivated and Go and expect to go out there and leave the same person that walked in here. On the final Friday, Avondale was able to provide the most wonderful graduation lunch for the athletes, our trainers, and a lot of the Avondale members were able to come and be a part of that as well. And all the food was provided by the amazing chef Kent Rathbun. And he was really open and actually sharing about his struggles and what he's been able to overcome. And it's just been incredible to see beyond ATF, the scope that we're able to reach, even if someone doesn't consider themselves adaptive, but the same story of we're all struggling and going through things, it was really awesome to hear Chef Kent Rathbun's story on that as well. So the Adaptive X sponsorship we have here is really that motivator that we have for our athletes who go through our programming and they wonder what's next. What's that challenge I'm going to push myself towards? What's that goal I've always been trying to achieve and how can I get there? Here at ACF we want to support that and we're so thankful for Avondale to jump in and be a part of those athletes story and actually sponsor those athletes in the Adaptive X program so they can literally do the basic tasks in order to accomplish whatever that goal is. So Edwin literally having the funding to be able to do this mission of a bike ride would not have been possible without that. I was always hearing about amputees climbing Mount Kilimanjaro or, and I was like, what's something that I could do? And I, I knew I had a bike and I knew I'd love to ride. So that was when I came up with the idea to, to, to do a, a thousand mile trek. And I was told I was, I was never gonna feed myself again. So there's like a gut-wrenching, like prove somebody wrong type attitude that I kind of took to it. That internal motivation of, of being told that I was never gonna do something like that was just the driving force behind it all. So with Avondale, like it wasn't, it wasn't possible. The funding is what we use to make the trip possible. So, I mean, the deep appreciation for the, uh, the investment that you guys put in on it. There's not many companies that 
would even consider supporting adaptive athletes like this and the fact that we do and we can get funding for, I mean, trips like this, it, it does more than anybody could ever, you know, think of in terms of wanting to continue to, to make goals, uh, push others around you and can't thank you guys enough for, for what you guys have invested in.